Well, I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, there was a, a great disc jockeys like Dick Clark, of course, and all the great jocks there, high lit. Great Balls of Fire was like the number one record in Philadelphia, I guess, for five years. Uh, and it just, <laughs> you, you, you didn't do anything but play that record along with all the other great artists that came along, but always a legend, mm -hmm. always the hero. Uh, the stories of life just revolved around him being the man that he is. Tell me a little bit about some of the collaborations that you had, how they came to be. Well, that was done, done by Steve B. He got all that together. And uh, he arranged all the uh, different uh, artists, musicians. Uh, I just came in and played the piano and sang. And who, who are some of the artists on the record with you? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a few people named Mick Jagger and... Yeah, well, a few people like that. <laughs> Keith Richards. Um, um, Tim McGraw. Uh, and a gal named Crow. Um, good looking little girl. <laughs> She was done some great singing. And uh, I think we got another one. <laughs> so, uh, happy early birthday to you. Thank you. So, do you, do you, uh, how are you going to celebrate your birthday? Um, the usual way, I guess. A bottle of champagne. Drink it. Nice. Go to the house. Nice. Um, the name of the album is uh, Jerry. The, the name of the album is Mean Old Man. Yeah. But your friend Chris Christopherson says you've mellowed out over the years. Do you feel like you've mellowed? Oh uh, yeah, I would imagine I have. I, I don't I really look at myself and know how. And then again, I don't look at myself as being a mean old man. Uh, you don't mellow out when you're sitting at the piano, though. No. Do um, you have a favorite cut on the CD? Favorite song? Favorite collaboration? Uh, my favorite song on the, on the uh, CD is "Who Mean Old Man." That's my. I picked that up. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I do. We want to tell you from CNN happy birthday as well. Now, why do you think that you've been able to really have this legacy and you're still performing at 75? So what's the secret to this? Run that by me again. Sure. What is the secret to having this type of career um, at, at 75? Is there a secret to that? I don't know. I've never thought that much about it. But, uh, and again, I never thought I'd be 75 years old. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a trip up on me. And, uh, I just thank God uh, we'll be 75 years old tomorrow. Is there anything that you haven't accomplished in your career or your life that you would still like to accomplish? Yeah, but she got away. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, what are we going to hear from you tonight? What am I going to do tonight? You're going to do Great Balls of Fire, maybe? Oh, well, I'll do that one. If I don't do that one, people will be very disappointed. Do Great Balls of Fire. Do, uh, I don't know. I have a sign of song. Yeah, when you're. You know, obviously 50 years, but when you're up here and you're playing, and you're going to be playing tonight, does it feel like 50 years, does it, or does it still feel, because I heard you guys warming up, not you, but the band, and you know, it sounded brand new. You know, does that, when you're playing, do you still, do you still feel that rebel, 1950s yeah, rock still, and roll? and still feel the same, as you did back in 1958. What's it like when you look out and you see not one generation, but you know, 
you know, 25 year old kids listening to your music and getting what you're saying that, as a performer? How does that, how does it hit you? Well, it's uh, uh, kind of scary a little bit, but uh, it's good, it feels good to see kids reacting like that and uh, making me react. Last question, thanks. Why do you think your music is so timeless, and it is. Why, why is that? Why would, you know, anybody, I have a nine-year-old son, he listens to Great Balls of Fire, anything that comes on the on a cartoon or something, he knows that song. Why Why do you think that that, you could, why do you think it's still here 50 years later, and it still sounds fresh? Well, God is a God-given talent, and it takes you that way. When you and Presley and Cash and Perkins were doing the Million Dollar uh, Quartet. Um, obviously, you never think that 50 years later somebody would try to recreate it on Broadway. Um, you know, what's your, you know, what's your feeling about this stage show? Have you seen it? Uh, uh, yeah, I went to see it here uh, a couple of weeks ago. Got up on stage and done three numbers, and uh, we had a good time. President Clinton was there. You're also going to be headlining a, a show next February, Clear Lake, which is where you know, Buddy Holly's last show was. You toured with Buddy, and uh, you know what, what are some of your memories of Buddy? Good, <laughs> good memories. He was a good Christian boy and a good pal. I have another question. Um, the music business has changed so much over the past, you know, few decades. What are your thoughts on the music business today, and what advice would you give to the musicians of today? Well, my advice to the musicians today is that they don't get in this business. They better roll the sleeves up and work real hard because it's not an easy business. Pick your guitar, you better be ready to pick. One last thing, too, about uh, there's already been a movie made about your life, but there's talk of another one with Brad Pitt and Natalie Portman. I don't know if you've seen that or read that, obviously. What, what is your reaction to that? Another movie about you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm just sitting on the sidelines. What about Brad Pitt playing it? What do you think of that? Well, I think that would be an honor. <laughs> how, how does it feel for you to know that your music is being playing all over the world and everybody's listening to your music? What's it mean to you? It means uh, record sales. <laughs> Last one too, J Jerry. Um, married, you've, you've been married six times. Would you, would you consider getting married? Hey, man. Man. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Would you consider getting married again? I haven't thought of that. I, uh, yeah, I would consider getting married again, but I don't think anybody would have me. <laughs> Why is that? Why not? Well, I'm a 75 year old man. I, I ain't got time to mess around here. But You're still messing around? Well, yeah, I mess around with the piano. But I uh, mess around with some gal. Yeah, it might be a different ball game. <laughs> well done. Charlie, do you have a favorite Christmas song that you sing around the tree? Do I what? Do you have a favorite Christmas song that you like to sing around the tree at Christmas time? Jerry, you said that uh, at one point you didn't expect to, to see 75. Is that uh, you've had a, a, a lot of 
I imagine a lot of interesting times during that 50-year career. But was that part of it that you didn't think you'd see 75? What did he say? He said you've had such a wild life in the past that you, you didn't think you would see 75. Are you surprised that you're here? Last man. Not really. I was uh, uh, looking forward to being 75. Uh, no, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Well done. You, you said there's not a lot of uh, great talents left. Who, who would you say, or who, who's left of the great talents? You're looking at it. <laughs> great. You're Thank good. You. Thank you so much. Hey, well done. Hey, hey Jerry. He smiled all the while. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.